Hey traders, John Hal here. We're going to be looking at, there's actually something really interesting happening right now when it comes to the Russell. Russell is actually developing a pattern that we should be really watching out for because we could be getting ready for another big down leg. So I want to really share that with you today. Plus looking at what's actually happening with the gold market today. Gold is also getting ready for another leg, big leg down that I've been talking about. And I want to talk more about that. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to be become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, make sure you grab that. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you grab that free trading course, link in the description. In that free trading course, guys, I give you five phases of walking through the biggest mistakes you're making right now. And then we go through chart reading techniques, advanced chart reading techniques, um, the trading system side of things, um, how to actually find the trades, what's the perfect setup look for, how to find overbought and oversold, what is the be what is the best time, what is the what is the best time to be looking for an actual trade opportunity, how to find good momentum in stocks and so on and so forth. So there's a lot you're gonna get in that in that free trading course link in description. So if you enjoy this guys, let's get straight into it right now. Subscribe, click the bell button, you know all that sort of stuff. Go do that right now, guys. So Let's have a look at this here. So big thing I want to share with you when it comes to the actual stock market, right? So we're looking at the stock market and a big thing here that I'm looking at here when it comes to the stock market itself is that it's important to not put the overall stock market in a blank statement, okay? Um, please do not say, just because the Russell, just because the Russell's doing something, the S&P may be doing something different, right? And just because the S&P is doing something doesn't mean the all, all market is going to be doing something, right? Because there's many, there's many stocks that are making really incredible moves to the upside right now, even in this bear market. So one, try to keep a open mind when you're actually trading. Don't have, well, the stock market looks bearish, so therefore all stocks are gonna crash. Huh, possibly not, right? There's possibly not. There's stock, as I said before, there's stocks that are making a very big move in the last couple of months to the upside in the S&P 500. So just because the S&P is doing something doesn't mean all stocks are doing something. So keep an open mind, be flexible when it comes to the overall markets there. So when it comes to the actual S&P 500, we can see that we're just developing a bit of sideways movement here. We're getting a lot of volatility right now, but this is not looking good, all right? We should be getting ready, we're getting, we're getting ready for another big leg down, but that's actually good news for you guys, right? It's good news, it's not a bad thing, right? This is looking ugly for people who are just buy, hold, hope, and pray, here we go, right? No, right? So it's actually looking quite ugly there for me. From a, from, a, from a perspective of that. We also can see that we have the Dow Jones as well too. They're happening, we're just getting a bit of a pullback right now with the Dow Jones. You can see the moving average is starting to catch up. So I would not want to be trying to buy this market right now, guys. And possibly I wouldn't even want to be short this market. Or actually, I, w I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to try to predict where this market's going to go right now, okay? Based, trade based off, but of, you must be trading based off a set of rules. If not, you're gonna get your head into because we could be getting ready for a big bear market rally, or which is what's probably likely to happen is we're probably likely to start to spend a bit of time just doing this here, right? Developing this sideways range through here, and then we're probably gonna see another big movement on the downside through there. So do not be trying to fight this market. The probabilities of, we're getting we are now resting, right? We 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 we're now in a resting phase when it comes to the actual when it comes to the stock market on the Dow Jones. We're resting right now. So therefore, it looks like we're about, it looks like after this rest, guess what's gonna come? Another big move, all right? Looking at the Russell, same sort of thing. Look at this Russell here, right? It's, what is it doing? It's resting. Big move up, big move down. It's resting, right? We're resting. Guess what's likely to come next? This. But guess what? That's actually a good thing, right? It's, it's, it's not a good or a bad thing, right? It's like, ooh, here we go. Moving on the downside. Do you know traders, that's like, you can make so much more money on the downside, right, than you can on the upside. So this is actually a good, this is this is exciting, right? It's exciting, Mark goes up, Mark goes down. It's all exciting, okay? So that's what we're seeing through there when it comes to that. And the Russell, out of all of them, is definitely developing this, this sideways movement through here. And once we actually break this level through here, it is going to be on like Donkey Kong. And the Russell is, especially the Russell, is going to get absolutely destroyed on the downside. And guess what? We can ride that destroyer all the way down, right? <laughs> we can ride it. So looking at the actual, the looking at um, gold as well too. And the trend is your friend until the end. The trend is your friend until, right? You know, you've probably heard me say that a few times in the last few 
trading days but as you can see you can see the trend has still continued down from here still continued down rejected it once again and now we're actually going to continue down like i've been saying it's going to be doing that and if, again if you've been watching my youtube videos i've been talking about the trend i've been talking about the moving averages and we're still doing that so gold is about to get destroyed oh, oh but john you said gold and stocks long-term bull market yes 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 right but first what have i been saying capitulation first right so we're probably going to get destroyed on gold. Gold is getting ready, guys, to have a really, really, really big serious move on the downside. So I would not want to be fighting this market. Do not fight this market, AKA, just stick with your friend, right? What is your friend? Oh, that's the trend. Just stick with that and you'll be all good to go when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to gold uh, through there. Makes sense. So that's what you want to be doing through there, guys. Let's have a good look at the actual, the mining sector as well too. So the mining sector, let's actually bring off the moving averages here. Let me squeeze my charts up here. The mining sector's really been just hovering around here. Look at this here, right? So we came down through here down up and then down and now we're just developing this sort of sideways movement through here right now so um the mining sector has been absolutely destroyed <laughs> this this year um but guess what there's, there's possibly a really good strong rebound coming soon but uh it does look like there's possibly it possibly could be an, another another leg down out of this level through here so possibly even down towards that 18 so possibly another 20 percent maybe move on the downside which could quite which could quite possibly be a capitulation type of move um in the markets through there so i hope that makes sense and last but least off the rank let's go have a good look let's go have a look at the good old bitcoin and the good old bitcoin guys we can see that <laughs> this is looking so sexy guys i'm telling you right now i'm um, looking at the good old bitcoin guys if we do get something like this on the bitcoin um, then you better, be, if we do get something like that, guys, I'm telling you right now, it is all over. We are heading down to 10,000 and guess who's going to be shorting the crap out of it? Me. I've made so much money shorting Bitcoin. <laughs> so that's, I just, cool. Let's keep going, right? Uh, it's setting up, guys. It is setting up. Alert, 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 alert. These bumblebees and, you know, talking heads on YouTube. That's me as well too, right? Don't listen to what they say, right? Listen to the charts, not the farts, right? Should I fart right now? Anyway, so <laughs> I'm trying, but there's no gas there. I guess you don't get gas from a green drink, right? I'm drinking a green drink right now, which is like, you know, grasses and vitamins and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so, um, but look what's happening right now, actually in the stock market, guess what? If we, if, if uh, uh, in Bitcoin, we get that, then guess where we're going to? We have at least a support. There's a bit of a short term. So there's it's at least 10,000, right? At least 10,000. This thing is going to go into. But again, guys, don't be, a, this is, a, if you are long crypto right now, well, yeah, I'd be shaking in my, oh, long Bitcoin. I'd be shaking in my boots, right? Shaking in my boots. And we could, we could get even, we could even possibly get a flush down to, like the vertical move started here. So it's possibly, we could even get a move down. Yeah, tap, tap. 10,000 is, is definitely that level for me, right? 10, 20, 30, right? So on and so forth. So uh, if I'm long crypto right now, short, if you're if you're a short-term thinker, short-term view, oh man, I'm telling you right now, if Bitcoin gets something like that, guys, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be shorting as much as I can. Load up, margin loan, as <laughs> oh, uh, sell the kids, right? Uh, so here we go. So that's what I'm looking at there when it comes to the crypto market, but... Here's what I do say. After this washing away effect, that's probably likely to happen out of the crypto market, we're probably likely to get one more last leg down to get to that 10,000, possibly even 5,000 on crypto market. But then when that happens, guess what I'll be doing? That's right. I'm actually, I will be then setting up, well, actually I am right now. I'm setting up a separate account where I'm going to then start to buy the crypto market. That's right. I did just say that buy and hold for the next 20 years. I believe Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of these other coins are gonna be major, 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 major part of our lives in the next 10, 20 years. So I'm setting up a portfolio, or actually I'm setting up an account right now where I'm going to be starting to buy that and holding it, having a 10 to 20 year view. Makes sense? Having a 10 to 20 year view 
on these markets through there. Does that, I hope that makes sense from there, right? So right now, initially, on a trading-wise, I'm looking to short it right now, or I'm waiting for an opportunity to short it to make money on the downside. Once we start to get that 10, possibly even lower, on Bitcoin and we get that washing away effect, the capitulation type things, once we start to see real blood on the streets, that's when I'm, I'm setting up a separate account right now and I'm calling it the crypto account because crypto is going to be a major part of our lives 10, 20 years from now and I'm going to be buying, splitting my money up between those and it's going to be buy, hold and let go. Flick, buy, hold and forget. Make sense? Once I do that, then it's, then it's just like let go, right? Because then I have a 2030, possibly even a 2040 view when it comes to these when it comes to these crypto markets out there. So I hope this makes sense, guys. Anyway, leave a comment below. What is your number one crypto that you that that you like right now, um, or that you think out of all the cryptos, which ones do you think is going to be the most dominant in the next 10, 20 years um, in our lives?